No more newbie here, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a beep sound like this on Share Factory. So if you're a PS4 player and want to learn how to make awesome gaming videos using Share Factory, plus how to do more on YouTube and other PS4 related stuff, then this is the channel for you. So please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future videos like this. Okay, so I'm going to show you a few different ways of how to add a beep on Share Factory, and we're going to use a phone, and we'll also show you a method of downloading the beep as well. So you might want to add a beep if you accidentally swear in a video, or you want to just do a meme or fail video and uh, put in a beep effect. So it's up to you which you might want to use it for, but. Um, we're going to go onto YouTube for most of the effects and we're going to try and get the sound off of YouTube So just type in beep sound effect and you'll just find one. This will be fine So we're going to show you how to add the bleep from the phone through your headset or mic first of all So if you go onto the video clip that you want to add the beep to just find whichever point you need to and then you go to add track to and then what you can do is just put your phone with the sound effect ready next to your mic and then just press play. And then once you've heard the beep sound, then you can press stop on the recording and stop on the phone and then just go back to it. And what we want to do is just trim it down so that you're only hearing the beep sound. So you can just push the square button on the audio part and then go to trim clip. And then you just want to bring that down so it's only really showing the sound of the beep. OK, you don't have to be too accurate on this, but you do want to have it so it covers the whole word that you want to cover. So once you've done that, you can just test it and just make sure you're happy with how it sounds and then what you can then do is push the square button again and move across to move clip and then you can move it if it wasn't quite right or in the right place for you then you can just move it around to wherever you want it okay no point in having the beep sound if you can't hear it on your final video so we need to check the volume so push square when you're on the beep sound go across to edit track 2 push square again and then go across to clip volume and just play about with the volume to get it exactly how you want it okay and then you can just test it again make sure you're happy it won't sound that great on here because it's a second recording but then we can add the word beep or censored so I'll show you how to do that so if we line up with where the beep starts and then just push the cross button and then we can go to add overlay and choose whichever style of writing that you want and then we're just going to put in bleep or you could put in beep or whatever you want and then we can just change the duration we know that the beep sound was only for a second so we're going to do the same for this and then we're going to go across the color change whatever color you want i'm just going to put it as a red using the saturation levels here and then once you've done that you can come out of that go to transform and we just move it to wherever you want it to be so i'm going to change the size a little bit change put a bit of an angle and then just confirm that and then we'll see what that looks like Okay, so once you've done that, there are other options as well. So you can use your imagination really, but I've just done this censored label here as well. And this is really easy, I'll show you how to do it. You literally just start off with an overlay of the letter I, and you use that as the background. So you put a letter I, change the color to red, and there it is, I've just moved it away from you. That's just a letter I, and then I've written censored, and I've just put the censored over the top of the I, and that is as easy as that. Okay, so shout out of the day goes to R Sharma. Now I have to apologize. R Sharma actually got the answer correct in the competition the other day. So I apologize for not putting that on the video. Um, please do check out R Sharma's video channel. Check out the contents. And if you like what they do, please consider subscribing. Okay, so you might want more than just a beep screen or a sensor screen. So you could add an infomercial screen from the Share Factory infomercial theme. Okay, so what you do is just go into a new project and click on the infomercial theme and it automatically clicks uh, or ticks a few of these. So we just go to new project and the first one is just like this okay so what we could do is slow this down until we get to the screen how we want it and then we can just push the share button once and push the triangle button to save the screenshot and then that just gives us a screenshot to put into our video instead of a beep or sensor screen so i've seen that done a few times on other videos as well so what you would then do is once you've push the share button and got the screenshot you can exit and go into your project where you want to add the screenshot and then you just go to edit 
um, the track two so that you can line it up with the beep and once the yellow screen starts then you can come out of it and you without moving the d-pad just push the square button to go to split clip and then that will just split it and then we can add the screenshot right after that split so we move back a little bit push cross and go to add screenshot and then you it would be on most recent but there you go we just go down to it and push the cross button and square to add it to our clip and there it is what we then do is we do need to push the square button and go into pan and zoom because we don't want the whole of that screen so we can just zoom in to the part that we do want and then once we've got it exactly how we want it, then we can just push the cross button to confirm. And then that will save it like that as part of our screen. Okay. So then what we want to do is come out of that and we just want to push the trim clip and move the right stick all the way down so that it goes to one second, which is the same time as the bleep. And there you go. We've got the beep screen. Um, and the infomercial theme both together. Okay, so it may be that you want to use the beep sound a lot and you don't want to have to keep on re-recording it. So what you could do is go to the beep screen you found on YouTube and import it. And I've shown you videos on how to do the import videos before. So I won't bore you with that again. But once you know how to beep it, do check out the other videos. I'll put it in the description anyway, how to import videos. But what you can do is once you've imported it on, from the YouTube to um, your PS4, then you could just add it as an MP3. And when you're in your video, I'll show you how to add it. And this gives you the option of just reusing it over and over again. So this is where it might be worth downloading it instead. So you just go to add music. Um, but what you could do is, uh, there you go, it's add music there. So you could go straight onto it there and um, you'll see it's on there. And then you can just reuse it as and when you want. And you can just change the length of the clip as you would do before normally so you just trim the music to however long you want it and it will just be sat there for every time you want to use it so that'll be when you might think it's worth downloading it but using the phone version I think works really well and is very clear so well worth um, considering that so I hope this has been useful if it has please do check out my playlist there's loads of different share factory videos on there and if you haven't already subscribed please do and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future videos like this thanks very much and bye